On Nevada ranks near the bottom of states of the U.S. when you consider the ratio of physicians to patients. That's also true when you look at the availability of specialists when you need care beyond what you can get from your primary care doctor. Patrick Walker takes a look at the numbers and how UNLV is working to improve care here in the Silver State. If you have ever needed to see a specialist, chances are you've had a hard time finding one, let alone scheduling an appointment. Last year, Nevada ranked in the bottom five states as far as the ratio of doctors available compared to the population in most specialties, according to a report from the University of Nevada, Reno. UNLV was uh, at the top of my list. Dr. Allison McNichol is one of 3,400 specialists in Southern Nevada. She's a trauma surgeon at UMC, coming here as a fellow out of medical school in Chicago. I came here and did my training, and uh, cross-training, I really was challenged and also thought it ended up being a good place for me to practice just in terms of the patients that I would deal with and maximizing uh, the knowledge I'd learned in training. So I opted to stay here and stay on as faculty at UNLV. In Southern Nevada, there is one specialist for every 629 people. But when you break it down by individual specialty, that gap widens. In Dr. McNichol's specialty, surgery, there is one surgeon for every 12,500 people. There just aren't enough specialties um, that are that we're training for now. As founding dean, Dr. Barbara Atkinson has been tasked with building the UNLV Medical School literally from the ground up. She says there's no quick fix to the shortage of specialists, but there are a few focuses to begin making a dent in the problem. One is to continue increasing the number of residencies and fellowships available to students. Former Governor Brian Sandoval included $10 million to help do that over the past two years, and Governor Steve Sisolak is proposing similar contributions for the next two years. So we've added a number of residency programs, some with just more spots in the current programs and some brand new programs. One new specialty coming from that money, geriatrics. The university is seeking to bring in at least three new geriatricians who can then teach that specialty to residents. Residents learn with their doctor seeing patients at the same time. So the good news is we'll have three new doctors seeing patients, plus we'll have uh, two re uh, fellows and residents working with those doctors seeing patients. The other focus, UNLV's medical school will continue to recruit students who are Nevada residents or have close ties to the state. Last year, the school had 1,900 applicants for just 60 spots. This year will likely draw similar interest. We'll then hope that we can get them into our own residencies. So by the time we'll have more resident spots open, that we hope they'll be able to fill into our residencies. Membrane. Underneath the basement membrane is a lamin appropriate. Which From there, Dr. Atkinson says statistics show there's a likelihood those newly minted doctors will stay here. That's the plan for second year medical student Moran Shaker. Definitely enjoy the environment here. Uh, definitely feel like uh, there are excellent programs here, and I would want to stay here for residency uh, if the opportunity arises for sure. Those opportunities take time and money. The money, a priority for the governor. As for time, Shaker and others hope that the right residencies come sooner rather than later. I would really love that opportunity to see myself and many of my uh, classmates have the opportunity to go into our uh, specialties of choice here in uh, Las Vegas. Patrick Walker, 8 News Now. Well, the state has been able to add doctors, including specialists, over the last decade, but not at the same rate as the overall population growth.